Last time on Sightseeing. everyone and welcome back to a world of overpowered swordsmanship so far at least as we we'll reconvene at the highest point in the world that we've found so far let's see what the world holds for us and if we can finally find our second bout of death as the only first one was from Cthulhu and Cthulhu yeah it's kind of an unfair fight to begin with Probably gonna take falling damage from that. Ooh, but there's something I can fall on. Fuck it. Oh. But I did take falling damage, so that's fine. Oh, now I took it. Very well. Be gone. Uh, I see you. What are you? More not godly, godly magic. Suddenly, suddenly turning on all the candles while I was just only turn on one. And they're actually, they're actually fake candles if you look at it. They're all illusions. But I guess that this is a bonfire then, in comparison, since I just got all my HP back. To go up or to go down? That is the question. Or to get hit, because you weren't paying attention. God damn it. Of course, it's a bonfire, so everything's back. I didn't think of that before. Let's kill all of you. More salt. Actually, bonfires let me level up. Can I level up? Ow. I would have been enough for a level by now. Come on, show yourself. I know you're here. There we go. So once again, to go up or to go down? Let's go down. I want to see something dangerous. Show me something dangerous. You can do it. Oh, items. Also nice. Uh. Ah! Shortcut. Nice. You open? Ow. Doesn't open. Still made it. So it's obviously that obvious that we need to go up then. I could go backtrack and level, but what be the fun in that? That's the bloody crows again. And they gave me some interesting item. I, st I do still believe that the crows might be something interesting. Gonna need to look into that at some point. Can I like you? No. Very well. Well, this certainly ain't ominous. Core ahead. Oh, great. Oh, hi. I see you. I don't want to see you. Is that fine? I'm gonna say goodbye. Hey, bye. <sighs> okay. Welcome to Souls Games. Let me die. That's not the most epic of names, to be fair. Oh, yeah, bloody sodden knight. What do you think you're doing around here? I was guarding! Oh. Nope. Oh, I guess. Ow. 
that took a lot longer than I thought it would. I can actually block that if I hit him. Good to know. Oh, his eyes are on. His eyes are on. Ow. Ow. Need to get out of here. Need to get out of here. His eyes are on. It's serious now. Ow. Sir, I don't like you anymore. Oh, Jesus! Jesus Christ! Man! That's just unfair! Okay. I see how we're gonna play this game. Sure. Took a play to that game. Uh, yeah, I got that ring. Coming for you, you. Coming for you, asshole. I'm getting away with this. Very nice of them to give me a reset point literally right in front of this. That's the problem now. He has my soul, so I need to kill him before I get back. Stop that. It's not nice. Stop it. I, w I knew I stopped him before. Why does he stop now? Okay. Sure, sure. I'm. Oh, I'm in salt! How the hell am I supposed to kill him right away after that? There goes my salt. Damn it. Now my meat is not gonna taste this good. Okay. Calm and keep thinking properly. At least for his design, he's an interesting start since we can. Recognize the normal human features that a knight has. It's not some kind of monstrous thing. So that makes it easier for us to think for what its attack patterns might... Oh! Oh! Might be and the way it attacks. Second of all, as we can see, he actually has a lot of foreshadowing when he does his attack. He build up to the animation when he attacks. It takes a long time, which is sometimes a bit longer than I expected, but... Ow! Stop that! But it makes it easier for people to react to his action. So, with that, for a first boss, he's actually... Oh, pretty interesting. Ow! Nope. Hey, why well, don't I have maximum HP? Ow. Stop that! So I need it. Ow! Your range is a ridiculous, man! Stop that! What? I was on the other! Yep, I hang him now. And I'm... I'm not dead yet. No. Very well. At least he had no more salt to steal. Wait. Reviving us coal. Damn it. This cost me gold. I just now noticed. That's not fair. At least my HP is back to maximum. Wonder why my HP went, my HP maximum went down. Gonna keep an eye on that. 
Get in a good fight. Hey! I already had some of the, had some of the spikes. They're gone. Where are they? Okay. We can do this. Now let's design talk and more focus talk. Stop doing that. It's not nice. Do your sword attacks. I can evade those more easily. H! Saying anything. Eat, 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 eat. Faster. Ow! Christ. Oh, wait! That's interesting, you can get hit while healing and still heal enough to heal up to max. I have for some reason lost maximum HP again though. Wait, wait. Maybe it's... Let's see if this works. What, hit me! I'm trying to see if my... Yeah, I believe my maximum goes down... Yeah, my maximum goes down with blocking. That's interesting. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. No, no, no. Ow. Come on, I'm almost there. Yes! <laughs> there we go. Sucker. And peace and tranquility. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, he already gave me his items. Okay. Interesting how, kind of like with the normal Dark Souls, the music just instantly fades back again after the boss battle is done. But to be fair, normally. With uh, in Dark Souls, the the the, the, the foe vanquished or things like that, uh, mon boss, monster, soul, game, whatever you want to call it, they always had an ominous sound. There were well, here whenever this hap when this happened, we had this peace and tranquility sound, which gives the silence a completely different feeling afterwards. Normally, when you get the ominous sound in Dark Souls, you are still on your toes, like. Okay, the big bad is gone. Yes, I feel elated because I just beat the big bad. But the world is still out to get me. Right now, on this spot, I this feels peaceful and safe. Since that guy is gone. And it's kind of the transition that was there from the peaceful and tranquil sound back now to what sounds like waves rushing against the sea. Which would be normal since we just landed on the sea. So that's not that strange, but yeah. Which is actually a nice little addendum. We can hear the, sil the sea still from here. Since we just came from it. Huh. Now let's first of all get some HP back. Because I'm almost done. Uh. There we go. At least I've got as much souls now as I was had before this. Around the same amount. Could have had double now. But we weren't so bad, but hey. Screw you. Take care of it on your own. Let me guess. This is the closest door. Yeah, there we go. So that's the next, next way to go. Very well. Nope. Nope. I've just been in a subtle night. You're not going to be any trouble for me. Bugger off. Nope. I must say the combat does feel quite natural to me, but it, that's mostly due to the part that I like to play adventure and platformer games in my spare time. So 
So I have a feeling that this combat system that they're using here, it fits with the game. It works well. It feels really tight. But it's something that's probably going to be a lot harder to learn for someone that hasn't had the experience with the, with the platformer games that I've played before. So that, that's something interesting when it comes to the design perspective. Combat, the combat is, is tight, but it's something that's going to be hard to learn, especially for how little of explanation there has been so far. Of course, everything you learn with uh, repetition and with experience, but stuff like this, for example, that attack that you can actually start to juggle and things like that. Most people don't naturally, naturally think of doing such things unless they know they can. We've never been told we can do this, and I just did this attack, which I generally thought it would happen since it happened in other games. So it's an interesting part where the game doesn't really teach you its own mechanics. It just ha I just happen to know them since they borrow from other ones. So enough talk about that. Let's go back and let's level something because I need to get me some more salt. Well, actually, I need to get me some less salt and more levels. Okay, this might actually... Oh, no, wait, it depends. This could still be in the, the, the crow thing, where I don't know where crow's here to lead me this direction. So far, by the way, it must also command the game on not making me feel lost. Games like this with the sprawling world, if the level design isn't great, you'd easily feel lost. So far, I've always known where I wanted to go. First was trying to get that ladder, which was easily shown from the start, then the item that was above that. And then from then on, we could basically go up, which was a dead end, and then go to the right, which was where the boss was. And now there's only one door further to go. So, still have no idea what the... Uh, Dead end up top was for though. There was some obelisks there, so it's probably gonna be, be something later on in the game. Wait, that's new. Oh! Secret door. Is this a point where everyone got their own thing that they can send messages? Is that why it is everything? Secret door. Secret door? Oh, another grave. Jeez, that's a creepy grave. What's wrong with you, man? Hey, wait. Where is... Where's my after image? I was expecting an after image here. Strange. So, oh, those offerings. Oh. So I can offer these statues and gain merchants and things like that. Interesting. Uh, first need to level up. I want to level up. There we go. Level five. Uh, what to get, what to get. Give me a second, I'll be leveling. That seems like an NPC. That's new. Hello. Eh, yes, I know. I mean... Technically, we were trying to protect the princess, which we didn't do. But since we survived, the princess might have survived, so I guess we're looking for a princess. So yes, we have a quest. Ha! I went right! Sure, you seem friendly.
Seems like a flimsy reason to throw yourself up against death. I mean, dragons? I don't know how dragons work in this world, but generally dragons aren't smart to go up against. They're kind of strong and deadly and everything like that. I don't know if that's a good choice. Not sure. Do you have actually? Actually, do you have more to say? Ah. You have a lot of dry looks, sir. Oh, now we're, I guess we're now at the... Yep. Well, let's back up my... Our claim's done. Let's first see about here. This would be the broken bridge, I guess. Thank you for the information. That, that is a bit late, to be fair. I believe so. If I think back so far, there have only been platforms that you can actually also just jump down from the side. But yeah, you could have given that information a bit earlier. Is it the sun? Ah! I see what you mean. It's a sanctuary. Hey! Oh, the players! Cool. Mm-hmm. I can also level at someone else's uh, thing. Good, good to know. So I guess that wasn't the bridge up to the castle then. What is here? This seems to be secretive. I don't know what it is. Yet. Oh, there's one of, one of those obelisk things. So I guess this is something for later then. Item. I want you! Oh, I can't get it. Damn it! Oh, but I can't get you. Oh, kind of mace. Cool. So I was talking about a shortcut underneath. So maybe I want to check that out first and get the items that are here. That sounded as if something moved. Where did that sound as if something moved? What did I do? I don't know what I did. Ooh, item. And why is that music? What did I do wrong? Hey, chest. Oh, yeah, no, screw you. What's with these obelisks, really? It's a good, it's an interesting thing to see from the design perspective because we've been seeing these obelisks a few times now and I have a feeling that we're gonna see them more. So they keep it fresh in our minds that if something ever happens to the obelisk that we've seen a lot of these already. So we're probably going to want to backtrack later. Oh, shortcut. This is, this is the laziest shortcut ever, let's be fair. You could have just as well had just the upper one over there or just the lower one down here. All that. It is interesting to see how the enemies are not bound by their platforms, they just jump down when they need to. But seriously though, let, let's see what we just saved by this shortcut. We started here, then we walk over, drop down, and walk back up. That's all we save with this. Sorry, but that, 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 that could have been better thought out. 
I know, I know that this gives an extra way down. But really, the extra way down is just as open with just opening the other one. So you could have just given it us from the beginning. It does serve to point out that with that one upstairs, you get pointed towards the other guy. The NPC. Which gives you some information, but... Yeah, still. What's this? Oh! You sound a bit crazy to me. What do you have? Black of air. Its memories can be used by a blacksmith to upgrade weapons. Okay. A soldier's memento to the deceased loved one. It helps promise of an eventual reunion. Bolts. Stained page. Stained page from an unholy tome. Stained in shipping darkness. Apply to your weapon to add a cane damage to your attacks. Crush it. Brittle pages in a holy place to expunge its sacred light. Interesting. And armor. Bag of shit. Okay, you have nothing interesting. Since you have nothing interesting, there's something I want to test. Okay, I can't hate you. Good to know. And lock from the other side. Very well. And item. There we go. I see you. Haha! <laughs> I don't know what you are, but I don't like you. So I'm gonna make sure that I don't need to hit you. Ooh! Ooh. Secret! What's over here? Nothing there. Okay. More secret. Oh, Christ. This is dark as shit. Don't I have anything against darkness? Um, inventory. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this at all. Does it have an item? It has an item. Gonna run for it. Can I get out of here? No. I don't even know what I just got. I'm just gonna run for it. Screw this guy. I know you're there. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Nope. Bye. Screw you! Nope! I'm out! Nope! Nope! Don't you dare! I'm out! I stole your stuff! Screw you! It was way too dark in there! You need to work on your interior lighting! If you do that, maybe I'll come by again! Oh, I don't trust this. I don't trust this. This darkness does not make me feel fine. Oh, another bet. Good to see. Oh! Nope. I haven't... Oh! Oh! Okay. Bats poison you. Should have known that. I thought I had all of you. Where did you come from? Um... The guy told us that it was actually a secret entrance, so let's first see if there's... Yeah, there we go. Opening the secret entrance, and back to the Shivering Shore. That's what I like to see. Are you something else? Yeah, you are. How did you die? You know, they're a, they're a fun addition, those gravestones. But with them flicking in and out and being basically at four frames per second, they barely show anything actually helpful. I just know that a guy died here. I didn't even see how he died or what he died from. In Dark Souls, you normally get to see the full extent of the death, basically, from... I believe it was five to seven seconds uh, before it. 
So you could see if someone got cornered or if someone went around the corner and suddenly died, you knew that someone was around the corner. This doesn't really help so far. So that's something that could have been designed a bit better. Let's level up. Actually, no, let's not level up yet. It has been a great time. But I am going to have to say goodbye right now. As our time for this session has already ended. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna level up in the meantime, and next time we leave off here and see what we can find in the rest of this strange and dangerous and sometimes way too dark world. Don't forget, just keep rolling. And never forget, just keep rolling.